Well, the danger of um, saving your modified or um, newly created channel strip presets into the logic library as opposed to the user account um, location library is of course that if you reinstall logic from scratch logic's um, install will completely overwrite the channel strip library and all the presets that you saved into that logic library will be gone forever and of course the only way to prevent that is to back up um, so I don't want to get into backing up now, but we'll we, you know we'll need a whole chapter on that towards the end of this tutorial series where we'll look at backing up and um, archiving songs and disk management and stuff like that. But for now, I'll just show you. You can save your presets into the Logic Library, uh, and you won't lose them as long as you back up. And to do that, you just go to Macintosh Hard Drive, Library, Application Support logic and there's the channel strip settings folder within which lives the whole library that's audio track channel strips that's instrument track channel strips and you'll notice there's also bus channel strips as well as master and output channel strip presets as well but we'll 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 look at those in a sec so basically this channel strip settings folder contains all the subfolders within which live all the library of channel strip presets for all the different types of channel strips whether instrument track channel strips audio track channel strips bus channel strips master channel strips or output channel strips okay so all you do is back up this channel strip setting folder just drag it off to a safe location and then should you reinstall logic Logic will, of course, overwrite all the content inside this Logic folder in the library here, right? Okay, so all you do is once you've reinstalled Logic, you'd simply get the channel strip settings folder from where you've backed it up, drag it over onto this Logic folder, let go, and it will rewrite your backed up library. Um, including your saved, modified, or freshly created channel strip presets, and everything will be will be back as before. So you know that's where you would back it up from and resurrect it too. Okay. Okie dog. Let's move on. Um, okay. Now the library. Let's carry on looking at the the way the library works because it does other things too. And you've probably noticed that, um, for example. When I'm in the process of showing you everything, I've shown you that if you highlight this upper slot on a channel strip, this is the channel strip setting slot. And I've said to you, I think already, that you can you must think of this as like the outer container. Okay, with this upper slot here, this channel strip setting slot selected, the library is showing you the sort of the master presets which contain everything that goes in a channel strip. So think of this as the outer container. Um, slot which accesses the library for you know sort of the, the the all the channel strips and everything that's inside a channel strip all the effects and EQ and in the case of instrument channel strips instrument track channel strips yeah also the instrument itself but you've probably noticed that for example if I went to you know go to one of these insert slots with say a compressor on it and double click that to open the compressor You've noticed that, of course, once I've double clicked that insert slot to open the compressor, that insert slot is then highlighted in white. The upper channel strip setting slot is no longer highlighted or haloed in white. This actual insert slot is now haloed in white. And you've probably noticed over here the library's changed again, and this is the next thing to look at is that. Um, the actual insert slots on channel strips, if you highlight those slots, whatever effect is in that slot, the library over here then changes to give you all the library for that effect. So if I highlight this insert slot with the compressor added to it, I'm looking at the library for that compressor, which has got lots of lovely presets for all sorts of different compression jobs or instruments. And it's the same with channel EQ. If I highlight this insert slot, which has a channel EQ plugin inserted into it, the library then gives me EQ presets. 
and it's the same for every effect. If I go to this audio instrument track, its channel strip has got more effects. Uh, okay, so I've highlighted this uh, insert slot with the ensemble in it, and that's over here in the library. You're now looking at the ensemble preset library. Now, some of the plugins don't have many presets, okay, such as this ensemble, which only, has only got a few presets, or the exciter, which has only got a few presets, or the onverb, which again doesn't have many presets. Um, but the main effects or processes, such as the compressor, they have a lot of presets, okay? And uh, whereas this limiter doesn't have many uh, presets, if I was to insert a, you know, the main space designer reverb, okay, once that's been inserted onto an insert slot and it's highlighted, you've got a really big library of, of reverbs. These are all Space Designer reverb presets, and there's tons of them, yeah? And it's the same if I insert the main Delay Designer um, plugin. Again, it's a main effect, so it's also got a really nice big library of delay effects, okay? So, you know, whatever plugin is on a slot, if you simply highlight it, you're then looking at the library for that plugin effect. And the beauty of this system is that, especially for beginners who don't know much about things like compression and EQ, if you simply add a compressor to a channel strip, you don't have to know anything about EQ. You've presented with a library with plenty of presets to get you going. So you can choose a compressor, you know, for, say, a kick drum, and then listen to it and look at it and try tweaking the parameters on the compressor and that will help you to learn about compression. But but the main thing is it gives you ready-to-go presets uh, for compression and for EQ. Again, you've got tons of preset EQs. So again, you can load up an EQ for a, a vo vocal, uh, you know, or there's EQ tools, or, you know, for drum EQs, for different types of drum instruments or guitars or whatever. And you, again, you get starter EQs that you can look at and, and sort of, learn how the various EQs are doing what they're doing and it gives you these great starting points to work from and then you just tweak to taste and uh, and if you want to then save that tweaked preset okay so you know that's the hierarchy the upper slot is the channel strip settings for the entire channel strip including the instrument if it's a channel strip preset for an instrument track and then when you highlight the individual insert slots, you're looking at the library then of presets for that actual effect that's added to the insert slot. Okay, and it's the same for instruments as well. If I choose an instrument track and look down its channel strip, if I highlight the input slot with the actual instrument plugin on it, I'm then looking at the entire library for that instrument. So there's the entire library for the excess sampler, for example. Or if I change the channel strip from this classic trance to instead the, let's say I'll choose this preset uh, from synth basses. I'm going to choose classic acid bass, and that loads up the ESM instrument as part of that channel strip. If I then highlight the ESM in the input slot, this is the ESM library. It's not a big library because the ESM is a fairly simple synth, but you can then... You can then simply go through the presets. It's as simple as that. It's fantastic. So, outer main container containing the entire channel strip presets. Then you see the library for that. Highlight a, a, a plug-in uh, insert slot. You're then looking at the uh, library for that particular effect. And if you highlight the actual instrument input slot, you're then looking at the library for that plug-in instrument, and you can step around and select the different presets and listen to those. All right, let's move on now to look at uh, some other things.